everyone, this is Heather. And this is Nathan. With Gamma Penguin, and I am so excited today. We have got the brand new, just released today, Lego Dimensions Harry Potter Team Pack. So this is what the box looks like, and it comes with the Weasley's flying car, the Ford Anglia, comes with Harry, Lord Voldemort, and the Hogwarts Express train, which you can put together. So that's what the box looks like, and I cannot wait. It shows that. It was too close oh, up. Oh, cool. So this appears to be what it unlocks in the game. That looks cool. really cool. All right, let me get my, I'm going to have to get my scissors here and get the... So while she's open. opening, um, I'll go ahead and do a quick overview. So really, uh, for all those who are not aware of what LEGO Dimensions is, is it's a lot like, uh, it's a toy collector video game hybrid, much like Skylanders or the now defunct Disney Infinity series. Uh, but what really kind of separates this and makes it a little bit better is it has those... It's based off the engine of those uh, really cool Legos games that have been coming out for the last 10 years. Lego Star Wars and such. And what they've done to enhance these and kind of mix them in is they have these little uh, RFID uh, bases. bases. And you have, when you, you have to buy the Dimension Starter Pack. And when you buy the Starter Pack, it comes with Batman, Gandalf, and... Uh, Wild, uh, wild style. Wild style from, from the, the Lego, Lego movie. movie, and uh, you just put these on, and it unlocks them. And the cool thing, we're not going to build all of these on this video, uh, just because you're supposed to build them as you play them in the game. Uh, we'll build the. Uh, so what we'll do today is we'll build the. Uh, sorry, the Voldemort and the Harry figure, but not the vehicles. And I'll show you why, because the vehicles have uh, different configurations that uh, when you do build them the game tells you when to do that and you can do one of three things like the the enchanted car or the Ford Anglia, Anglia. yeah can turn into the shark sub oh cool or the monstrous mouth while the Hogwarts Express changes into a steam warrior okay or a soaring steam plane cool so we'll go ahead and put these figures together and we're back so we've put together the figures, and these are really they cool looking. They are really awesome, and my favorite part is the base. Harry Potter. No. <laughs> um, Harry's got two faces too, which is cool. So he has a happy face and an unhappy face. You can kind of turn him around, and the bases are really cool. His has a lightning bolt, and the... Gryffindor shield and Voldemort's has Harry's got very swoopy hair. He has a the snake, snake going. He's got Nagini going all the way around the base. And they both have wands. And so the figures are really sweet little Lego figures. And Voldemort only has one expression. But no nose. <laughs> I have no nose. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is uh we're gonna go ahead and cut here. We're going to try to record some footage, and hopefully when we come back, we'll have the vehicles put together after we're done with the gameplay footage, and we'll go ahead and get some stuff set up. So, we'll be, be back. back in a little bit. So, this is LEGO Dimensions. Uh, just so everyone knows, this is the PS4 version. So, I wanted to show kind of quickly. When you first put it in, uh, you're going to get the first Hogwarts Express build. I think that's because Hogwarts Express is kind of teamed up with Voldemort. When you put in Harry, it gives you the car, uh, which you will see in the video. Just want to show that these are the books that come up. Uh, something else is that this was the first version 2. So Harry Potter was kind of part of the version 2 part of LEGO Dimensions. So we had to download a lot of stuff. First, we had to download the new version of the game, and we had to download the Harry Potter part of the game. Uh, we've bought other uh, version 2s, and I'm sure that those will be another large download. So you may want to make sure you have a lot of hard drive space. So once you build it, it's going to write to the RFID when you put it on the tag. Uh, 
and when you put from that point forward, whenever you put it on, that will be the vehicle that's specifically assigned to that base. And we also did it with the car. So now we've got Voldemort and Harry, and just want to show you walk around the outworld. With Lego Dimensions, you have kind of an outer world, and you have to run to the portal. And we sped this up a little bit because people don't need to see all of this. Anyway, uh, so that's that's the way you get to version 2. You get a little slingshot, sends you around. And when you land, you walk around this kind of three-dimensional world. And all of those are portals for other things. And if you look closely, you can see the first one is Ghostbusters 2016, A-Team... Fantastic Beasts, which we do have the Fantastic Beasts. We may do a review on that one. And other cool stuff. I kind of want the Goonies. That's kind of the one I'm excited about. So here's the Harry Potter one. Uh, as I was saying earlier, we've sped up a lot of things here. So this is running about 400 times speed. Just because it took forever. Because it's loading during this time. And it can take a little bit to load. When we first got here, we're just showing you the two-person thing. As you can see, it splits up, but we switched to one person just to give you the total view. This world is beautiful. They just did such a good job. In the beginning, you are around a bunch of fellow students who are throwing snowballs. And for some reason, they actually take damage. And right now, we are in Hogsmeade. And that girl just said something. I sped it up. Uh, I'll give you another example in, in a little bit. And so you can walk through Hogsmeade. And the detail's really nice. Uh, right now, we're going down to the Great Lake. And that's Hogwarts. And that's the boathouse on the lake in front of Hogwarts. Really good detail. So when you start, you're actually given your uh, broom. It's kind of cool that you start off with everything. So here's some cool stuff looking at that. Oh, blast it. Today of all days. They'll have blown halfway to Hogsmeade by now. And there, you could hear uh, one of the professors. I th think that it was uh, Dumbledore. So we're going to fly back to Hogsmeade. Is that Harry Potter? Oh, I thought the scar was meant to cover his whole face. That thing is tiny. And the ambience is really neat like that because... That uh, is just one of the bystanders that just tells you something. There's Honey... I believe that's Honey Dukes. Uh, gives you the details. So you walk. That thing in front of you tells you the way to your next, like, quest or uh, objective. Couldn't give me a hand, could you? Right. Thing is, strictly speaking, I'm not supposed to be raising any dangerous magical creatures. Now, acromantulas aren't dangerous. Well, they are, but you just got to know how to treat them, is all. And here you see a quest giver, which is, of course, Hagrid. And what he'll do is he'll tell you something that's going on, and then you get the ability to accept or reject the quest. It's really neat, because that, that's even the voice. Um, Heather, as she says in the close-up to this video... You know, they got a lot of the real voice actors. And there you go, you can accept the quest. And you'll notice that it came up with a little counter for the parts. Uh, now what I want to show you guys is the uh, other places. Like, this is Grimold Place. You can walk down here, and as you can see, it's not expanded. But you do get something else that's cool before it expands. It does expand, but you get... A battle with Bellatrix. So there are some boss battles in here from the movie. Really neat. Just going to show you a few minutes, well, a few seconds of this. And these, each one has an element or mechanic to the battle. If you've played other LEGO games that's similar, you have to figure out how to get to the area where you can do damage. And these are her henchmen. And in this case, you defeat the henchmen. And then you get the ability to do, like, one point of damage to her before the whole system starts over. And I hope we can beat her. Uh-oh. We got him. And there she is. And hopefully on the audio you could hear she does scream at you and that. So now we're just going to tour a little bit. We got a little winging. 
and I loved how this just followed the tracks that went around the side of the world. It just graphics are great. Looks really neat. Now we go up to the Quidditch pitch. Fly around that for a second time so you can get a better look. Now we're going to fly around Hogwarts for a little bit. Just the detail and the graphics just make this a really rich world. So, going back to quests for a second, if you see that little map down the bottom left, that tells you where all of your um, objectives and points of interest are. Here's the chess courtyard, and now we look at the viaduct courtyard, which leads into the main hall, which is really cool. So we will go ahead and walk that up there. And from here, it has to load, and it said you could lose quest objectives because this is a second part, kind of like a instanced world. So anyway, I think the game looks great. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this short tour and look at the game. Again, this wasn't a let's play. This was just a give you an idea of what the worlds look like and whether this game is worth it or not. We've really enjoyed it. We've played the game more the since the then. Statue. This was our first try. And we really like it. So anyway, we're going to go back to the video. Hope you enjoyed this really cool view of the LEGO Dimensions Harry Potter game. And we're back. Well, hope you enjoyed that gameplay. Again, this really isn't a let's play. I just wanted to give you guys kind of an idea of what the game looked like. I thought it looked amazing. They did a fantastic job. It looks so cool. I can't wait to sit down and really play. Definitely. And uh, just real quick before we go, I wanted to show you what the vehicles look like. So that's the Weasley's Flying Ford Anglia. Really cool. And here is the Hogwarts Express. Sweet. Awesome. Nice. And again, look at the figures. Harry and Voldemort. Yeah. And I really liked in the game that they were using um, actual voices. A lot of the Lego games, um, there's no speaking parts. <laughs> so I think that was kind of cool in Dimensions that they actually were pulling um, voices out of the movies. And it actually looked like they got some of the actors to do some of the voiceovers too, like Robbie Coltrane for Hagrid. That was really cool. So I, I can't wait to sit down and play through the whole thing. Definitely. It was cool to play through. Um, you know, we'll, uh, as I said in the video, uh, we played single player just so we could show you guys. Uh, when you play two player, I think I showed it, uh, it goes to a split screen. Uh, but really cool open world. Uh, I, I don't know if they're going to do a story pack. The story packs and dimensions are really cool, so I'd love to see like a story. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. This was our first foray into game capture. I'm Nathan. And this is Heather. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya. Bye. Bye. Is that Harry Potter? Oh, I thought the scar was meant to cover his whole face. That thing is tiny.